late spring day in Ontario. We just loaded a log in the mill and we're going to cut a little bit of lumber today. I've got, oh, I think two poplar logs and three sugar maple logs to saw. So she's dogged, she's ready to go. I built this mill oh, it's probably 17, 18 years ago now and it's, it's uh, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of board feet of lumber for us. The shop that you see the videos in where we're building things, all the lumber for that, it's all maple actually. And it came out of our home farm and we saw the lumber on this mill. So let's take a few slices and see what she looks like.
we're done sawing for the day. I'm going to pack things up and actually I'm going to head to the cottage and if all goes well, I hope to spend tomorrow doing some lake trout fishing. I wanted to show you this blade here. Now the mark of a good blade, and this is a Woods My Wood Miser original blade, where my thumb is, that's the weld where the blade was welded together when it was manufactured and it didn't break there. That's quality. Usually, I don't know if I've ever had a Wood Miser break in the weld actually. They usually break somewhere else. And this one, of course, broke in a gullet. The blades usually crack in the gullet and every time you sharpen it's very important to take out and clean the gullet so you're down below any micro cracks that may start and become stress risers for fractures. And one other thing I want to tell you about. This can't hook. My father-in-law passed away a couple years ago. He sure was a blessing for me and the many others. Well Poppy, when I was a teenager, I was just dating his daughter. He went to an auction sale and he bought me this can hook. And I've had this can hook and worked with it for, I don't know, 41 years I think? Over 40 years anyways. Isn't that an awesome thing for a father-in-law to do? He was such a blessing. And I'm sure thankfully let me marry the daughter. I married up, let me tell you. <laughs> Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again on Out of the House with Paul.